What's up, home dog? My dad filmed it, so. My tongue is absolutely disgusting. I've never looked this color before. I can't even show it. Don't look. Ew. Good morning guys it is it's 7 14 in the morning and i'm getting my wisdom teeth out today so yeah i'm gonna document it and take you guys with me and my parents are gonna film probably a lot like while i wake up and when i'm about to go under but kind of nervous <laughs> So this is today's fit for the surgery. I've got my Christmas march on, even though it's January 7, but I think it's Christmas all the time. I've got my Christmas pants on from pink. They're so comfy. And then I have some fuzzy socks on and I'll probably wear other Crocs or tennis shoes. I just ultimately want to be comfy. So that is what I would recommend. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I'm like, I hope it doesn't hurt. Put the babies in the crate for mommy. I love you. I love you too. I'll see. Do you want me to make fresh mashed potatoes or boxed mashed potatoes? Fresh. Okay, tell dad to buy the potatoes. I know that box stuff has some sketchy things in there, so nope. Hi guys. Okay, we're at... Oh, lighting is very bright. We're at the oral place and we're about to get in. I'm so nervous, but I think it'll go fast. It's supposed to be like 15 minutes, so see you there. Okay, I came into the bathroom really quick to tell you guys what I did to prep for this. After midnight, I didn't drink any water or eat anything. So this morning, I couldn't even drink water, which was like so hard because I love drinking water in the morning. But they do recommend brushing your teeth. So that's like literally the only thing I did. But I will make a list and put a list on the screen after I get out of surgery of foods that I made to go pick up at the grocery store or my dad is actually gonna get them. But I'm so excited because after we're gonna get pressed juicery and I wanna get a pressed freeze because they're so fire. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're just out of the surgery and uh, they said everything went well. They were in there pretty deep. So Caroline is, she's adjusting to what's going on right now. You doing okay, honey? Uh, but basically, 
<laughs> Basically. It went fast. Catherine says she hopes everything went well. The doctor came out and he said that got all four. He said they were pretty far down, so he was just saying the ice for probably today and tomorrow. Just to control. You'll have some swelling on your cheeks. Well, that's, I'm thinking we skip that because you need to get home and we can get you some soft food and get the ice on your cheeks. Where do you want to go to your favorite place? Yeah. Oh, shit. Sure. I can't Why? Am I crying? <laughs> I think it's common. You're not sad. I don't think you're sad. I'm oh, sorry, Bennett. They were really nice. I don't know how I got this far. This is where I poked the hole in me. Oh yeah, for the IV? Yeah. I forgot the guy's name. It was really cool. Yeah. And he helped. He was really nice. It was good, huh? Can't breathe out of your nose. When we get home, you want to eat uh, some food, cold, soft food, because um, you haven't eaten anything since midnight last night. Yeah. And then um, you're pretty much going to be just resting all day, watching TV, Netflix. We're going to my favorite. Wait. How bad? Not bad. You look good. Phone that I left in there? Yeah, I have it. Are you sure? It's right here. In one mile, turn. I don't think I told you guys this, but I had to get four keys pulled out because my sister only had to get two, and my dad only had to get two. But I had all four because I'm really involved. Not his balls and I was this species, so I had four. Oh, the next light. Turn one here, one here, one here, one here. My tongue is absolutely disgusting. I've never looked this color before. I can't even show it. Don't look. Ooh. Oh. Me. Uh, I don't know what any of this stuff is, but it's here. I have to have my dad explain. Uh, but it looks like we got a lot of. Is this a barf bag? We got like a barf bag. We got gauze. Oh god. Uh, I got a face my black I got a face my black We'll see what black he's up to. I really hope she answers because I just really want to talk to her right now. <sighs> Let me call my mom. My mouth is so sore. Hi, baby. Hi. Is it hurt? I don't even know. Oh, look, your dad. How did it go? Uh, he said it went really well. It didn't take that long. It was, I'd say, less than 30 minutes. She, um, he said that they were 
pretty deep, right? So she's gonna probably have a little bit of swelling. So we're gonna get ice on that. But he said all in all it went well. And she wanted, um, yeah. You did good, baby. Yeah, you did. Thanks. I'll come home and take care of you, okay? Okay. I love you. Love you. Okay, bye, babe. Bye. Let me see. you have gauze in there? Yeah. They said that you want to um, change it out. Here, let's, let's I gotta grab it back. We could take out the gauze, you could try to eat, and then you could put the gauze back in. Or do you want to try to eat with the gauze? Uh, I mean, you probably could eat with the gauze. It's probably not. Uh, what do you think? I think I can eat with the gauze. Okay, try to eat with the gauze. Well, what did you get? I tried it too. Which one did you get? Same thing. Chocolate? Yes. Okay, be careful. So, we got press freezes. This is my favorite place ever. I'll try it too. How's it taste? Okay. You try to take it out? No. I think you can. Uh. We've got more gauze when you're done. So what's special about press? What's in the chocolate? Anything? Um, it's like really healthy. Is it good? It's very good. Delicious. Oh, this is so good. This healthy is chocolate. Really good. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Oh. Hi, guys. So, it is one day post off and let me tell you what i've been doing so i've been icing my face a lot i think it got a lot more puffier since yesterday i woke up at 3 a.m because i needed to take pain meds and those have really been helping um i had yogurt for breakfast which was really good but it was really hard to eat because i couldn't really open my mouth and then my dad made me salt water that I like gargled in my mouth. So, we're gonna get out of the house today. I requested that we go paint pottery, so that's what we're gonna do today. I'll keep updating you guys, but a bunch of people were asking me to film my recovery process as well. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi guys. Okay, this is day two post-op. I literally cannot talk and I look like a freaking chipmunk. On a level of soreness, it's not as bad as yesterday, but I can barely even like get any words out. My face looks so fat, oh my god. I ate a little bit more than I did yesterday. I have noticed though that I've lost a significant amount of weight, which is really scary, but yeah, and I'm trying to not take my pain meds as much as I have been, because I wanna get off those, so. <laughs> This is me right now. And I'm going to school tomorrow, believe it or not, so this kind of sucks. Good morning, guys. Okay, so it is day six post wisdom teeth removal. Um, my face has swelled down a lot. I still can't talk like back to 100% normalcy. I kind of have a little bit of like a lisp, um, but my cheeks just have a couple more days of swelling and then I think I should be back to normal. First off, let's talk about some changes. I dyed my hair. I went darker, like a very, very dark brown because before it was like lighter at the end and I just wanted it all to be one color. So let me know if you like it. It kind of looks black, but it's not black. So I want to tell you guys the updates and the recovery because I've gotten so many requests on that because it is like a scary thing you know what your recovery is gonna look like and even though everybody's is gonna look different maybe like I can help you kind of get a little overview so I would say for sure I would say for sure day three and day two and three were the worst days um, I lost six pounds because they had me, they prescribed me hydrocodone, which is like a very addictive drug in case you guys didn't know. But my parents ended up taking it away because obviously after two days, three days, you don't want to be on it for a while. You should switch to something else. 
So I switched to Advil. And I've been taking Advil. I've been going to school all week. Today's Thursday. So I've been wearing a mask, obviously, because it's really hard to talk. And my face was really fat, like, when I went back to school. But I feel a little bit better. It's weird, though. After the third day, I want to say the fourth day, I started noticing, like, intense pain in my bottom teeth and like my jaw and it almost felt like it was connecting to my ear like just this long string of nerve pains and I looked it up and I didn't even need to look it up because I had a feeling that I had dry sockets which is a very very common thing to get after you get your wisdom teeth out my sister got it almost every person that I know gets it but basically, I'll put the definition of it on the screen because I'm not like a scientist. It can cause a lot of pain and it hurts the most when you're sleeping at night because your body's in like one position. I woke up this morning, day six, and I was literally crying so hard because it hurts so bad. Tomorrow will be one week since my surgery and I'm gonna have a appointment I'm gonna talk to them about it and hopefully I don't hopefully I won't have dry sockets but I think the video will be up before I can update y'all but anyways I just want to say day four day five I started eating very tiny scrambled eggs that I couldn't even chew I just had to like swallow it like literally swallow it and then my mom made spaghetti but she cut it the noodles like into this tiny so I swallowed it whole like I picked it up with a spoon and I just swallowed it I couldn't even use my teeth I still can't really like chew down my gums are like protruding and it's really like swollen but it does get better I will say that and the swelling goes down so if you are nervous so if you feel like the pain is never gonna end, it is gonna end, but like holy crap, that was the longest days of my life of just eating like applesauce and yogurt and mashed potatoes. Like I do not freaking miss that, that was terrible. This morning I looked at all of the footage for the video because I haven't looked at anything, right? And it's so funny because I don't remember anything. The only thing I remember, like the first thing I remember after surgery is FaceTiming my mom, which was like 30 minutes after I'd been talking and filming with my dad. So it was so funny watching the footage because I didn't remember anything. And I repeated things so many times. <laughs> like I literally had to cut some stuff out because I was like, oh my God, I've literally said this. Like I would pick up the camera and I'd be like, so basically I got my wisdom teeth out, but I had already said that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, don't do anything. I love you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Comment down below your updates and your journey through getting your wisdom teeth out. I'm really curious. And yeah, I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.